we have a simply supported beam subjected to a clockwise concentrated moment at mid-span. We wish to determine the beams and rotations using the virtual work method. The beam has a constant EI. Since the end rotations are unknown, I'm going to assume their direction. I'm going to say the beam's deflection is downward, like this, which means A rotates clockwise and B rotates counterclockwise. Let's refer to the rotation at A as theta A and call the rotation at B theta B. According to the virtual work method, theta A can be expressed as the integral of mx times m star x like this where mx is the beam's bending moment equation due to the applied load, and m star x is bending moment equation due to a virtual unit moment placed at A in the assumed direction of joint rotation. mx can be easily determined as shown here. To determine m star x, we place a unit clockwise moment at A, like this. Then, we can write the beam's bending moment equation like this. So, theta A can be expressed as it equals negative ML over 24 EI. But what does the negative sign mean here? It means the actual direction of theta A is opposite to the assumed one. Joint A rotates in the counterclockwise direction in response to the applied load. It is also important to note that the unit of rotation is radians, not degrees. So joint A rotates by ML over 24 EI radians in the counterclockwise direction when a clockwise concentrated moment, M, is placed at mid-span. Now let's calculate theta B the same way. MX is the same as before. It equals... To calculate M star X, this time, we place the virtual unit moment at B in the assumed direction of joint rotation like this. So we get Then, theta B can be written as Since this is positive, the assumed direction for the rotation at B is correct. Joint B rotates in the counterclockwise direction by ML over 24 EI radians. So here is the correct deflected shape of the beam. And here are the end joint rotations.